What's going on guys? Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at the Reef Glass Nano Protein Skimmer. Welcome back to Premium Aquatics. This is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision for what is right for you, your reef tank, and your budget. And this week, we're going to be taking a look at the Reef Glass Nano Protein Skimmer. So let's jump into it. All right, folks. So today we got a new product for you, and we're going to open that up and take a look at it and see what we got. Alright, so we have the Reef Glass Nano Protein Skimmer. I like the box, pretty simple in this design. I'm going to go ahead and scan that and see what that's all about. Go ahead and pause it and see what they got to show you there. So we got some instructions here on the Nano Protein Skimmer. Very detailed, a lot of information there. It's always important to make sure that you're reading your instructions prior to use. And bubble wrap that we don't really need. All right, we got a couple things going on there. That's a really nice glass piece right there so you got the lime wood diffuser some nice another nice uh, glass piece in there a little bit of uh, airline tubing connecting to the diffuser then up here at the top you got is that glass yep that is glass you have this kind of a cork deal going on and then you have your out feed and then to tie it all together you have this plastic piece which is going to do two different things for you one, it's going to hold your protein skimmer at the appropriate level. It's very important to make sure that this is at the correct level. Uh, that's what this O-ring right here is for. And essentially, uh, depending on how deep you put it into the water, is going to dictate how that acts as far as what it's putting out for skim mate. Um, this plastic piece also has some notches in it for airline tubing. You guys can see that right there, airline tubing notches. Then you have this hole right here in the back, which is uh, for the screw that comes with the protein skimmer. And essentially what that's going to do is hold it in place. Screw it in there, depending on you know how thick your glass is. I am going to assume, yeah, it's just going to hold it in place. So it has a little bit of a kickback here, so it's going to eventually touch the glass down at the bottom, so it's going to help stabilize it but depending on how thick your glass is, is how much you're gonna screw this piece in. All right, so as far as what is going on with the rest of the stuff, so you have, let me disconnect that so I'm not swinging that glass piece around. Uh, so what you have here is a cork that has a couple different holes in it and these holes are going to do different things for you now one in the top is going to be for this right here now what this valve is going to do for you it's going to go into this column and it's going to dictate how much air actually goes into the air stone and depending on how many bubbles you want in there is going to basically just be the turn of that valve. This other elbow that's coming out here, uh, which both of these are gonna be pointing towards the back, so you can utilize those airline tube organizers right there on the uh, mounting bracket. As your foam is pushed up back into the protein skimmer tube skim mate is going to come out of this elbow right here so you're controlling your air by the valve and then your skim mate you know the bubbles crazy bubbles are going to come out of that little diffuser and it's going to push up 
and then what's going to happen is skim mate's going to come up to the top obviously depending on you know what depth it's a little bit of uh, how much air you want to put into it the right height and as skim mate gets bubbled up the tube it's going to come out this elbow and go into a collection cup and right here in the directions it shows you to use a bottle take the cap drill a hole in it uh, one of the holes is going to be to allow air to get out of it and the other one is going to be for this little connection right here so it gives a solid point of contact for the airline tubing to leave that elbow come out go into the cap of whatever bottle that you want to use you can use a soda bottle uh, that's emptied out and essentially that's where your skim mate is going to leave the protein skimmer as far as the maintenance on this it's pretty easy to do uh, you just take that piece out you know get in there clean that up obviously it's going to have uh, an impact on the skimmer's ability to produce skim mate after you clean it and obviously when you first set it up there's going to be a little bit of time for that to start working real well because what I have found with my experiences with these uh, diffusers is they do take a little bit of time to get working they gotta soak up um, some water and then they start really producing some solid bubbles the one thing I like about this though is where you have that glass tube it's going to hold that diffuser in place down there it's not something that's going to kind of bubble to the top so you don't have to worry about that stuff but overall uh, if you're looking for a nano protein skimmer uh, the glass reef nano protein skimmer is a pretty neat little package um, utilizes some pretty simple technology and is going to be very effective at removing skim mate from your nano tank and just because it's a nano tank doesn't mean that it doesn't need a protein skimmer uh, which I like what reef glass has done with this simple but effective protein skimmer so if you want to take a look at this product there's going to be a link in the description below which will bring you to premium aquatics where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself all right folks that's going to do it for today's video if you want to take a look at this product there's going to be a link in the description which will bring you to premium aquatics where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself if you enjoyed this one make sure you hit the thumbs up and i will see you next week right here with a brand new video